Yo, what's up? It's Philly Throwbacks, man. We gotta make this one short because it's late and I'm tired as hell. Check this out, man. We're talking about the versus Bobby Brown versus Keith Sweat. And listen to me, man. Check this out, man. It was dope. All right. Now, coming into it, I had the Kang, Bobby Brown. And after watching it, I still had the Kang, Bobby Brown. But let's get into it, man. <laughs> At the end of the day, man, um, both of them did their thing. I think Keith Sweat was, uh, you know, he was great. I think his voice still, you know, sound pretty, you know, pretty well. Um, he wasn't to the top potential singing, performing his songs because he was drunk damn near the whole versus. Uh, Bobby Brown uh, performing it uh, wasn't all the way there, especially not like he was back in the day. But he still had a whole plethora of hits that we all love so we still sang and along with him and cheered him on as he horribly sung <laughs> but his hits will last forever you know what I'm saying we always got respect for the great Bobby Brown and Keith Sweat so just getting into it man um you know Keith Sweat was hilarious the whole verses you know the whole verses he was talking his stuff taking his sweet old drunk time crying and whining like he usually do begging those begging for that thing Begging you girls out there for that sweet die. There you go, telling me that's what that's doing, doing what he do best, crying and whining the whole night. Um, and Bobby Brown, oh man, he was killing it, man. When he got into his, you know what I'm saying, his 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 bag, he brought it into his new edition bag, he got into his, his own personal singles, and when he did, you know. Bobby Brown um, with Ja Rule, and I know y'all getting bored dealing with them. You know, he was killing it, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, he did his thing, man. But what really stood out to me is one of my favorite songs, you know what I'm saying? When he did the Ghostbuster joint, crazy. And, you know, that was a particular joint um, that he did that even, you know, Keith Sweat had to say back in the day, he was kind of hating on him. When he did that joint with Ghostbusters, man, his that's when his career took off to another level. Like his career took off to a whole nother level when he did that joint the Ghostbust with the Ghostbusters. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the song already. I don't have to get into it. Um, cause that bag was heavy and the superstar went to another level when he did that soundtrack to go Ghostbusters. So that was really dope. And of course he did, you know, Roni and I mean, go see it, man. Go to Versus. Go to Versus and check out the whole battle. You know what I'm saying? It was dope. I don't have to get into each and every song that they did. You already know they hits. And it was very smart and wise choosing which hits they were going to use. You know what I'm saying? It, it was dope all around the board. But at the end of the day, man, that's all I want to say, man. Shout out to the legend Bobby Brown. <laughs> Shout out to the legend Keep Sweat, man. I personally picked Bobby Brown as the winner because I just felt like he had more hits that, you know, that just, re you know, related to me more. Like, I love that. I, mean, I don't want to say related because, you know, Keith Sweat had a lot of stuff that related because I love that smooth shit. But I'm not much of a beggar. I never, you know, I ain't begging too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, but yeah, Bobby Brown won in my, my opinion, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, go support Versus. Shout out to Swiss Beats. Shout out to Timberland. Shout out to Bobby Brown. Shout out to Keith Sweat, man. Make sure you go check that out. It was dope. I want to see who's going to be next, all right? Throw it throwback. Subscribe to the channel. This is the Versus recap. Bobby Brown versus Keith Sweat. Bobby Brown's the winner in my eyes. Thrilly.